Wait. All right. Hey, this is a uh, this is a '98 Civic. So I was uh, on the way home last evening, and my car started smoking really bad. And uh, it's a real easy fix. Had a coolant leak. So I thought I'd just throw this up there in case uh, anyone's having this problem. And I'm pretty sure this is super common. So just like so you know, this uh, I've replaced this radiator twice in, uh, in the last four years of owning this car. And um, I just got a cheap $30 one. So, but typically the radiator cracks like somewhere right along here. Um, and it's a very easy fix. It's only a few bolts, um, but that's not the problem. The problem was, so I was on the way home and the interesting thing is I've taken this car back and forth uh, to, uh, you know, Atlanta, South Georgia, you know, these are five, six, seven hour trips um, and it does fine. It's got 216,000 miles and it does great, no problems. So I'm really thankful that it actually, uh, the problem happened in my neighborhood on the way home when I was only like half a mile from my house. but came out here this is last night about 10 and there was coolant you know everywhere bubbling the temperature gauge shot up so I just waited till this morning but the problem was and this is very common and I'll show you why and this is literally about a two-minute fix so you got all these different hoses you know that could be bad um, there's kits where you can order you know every one of these hoses but this hose in particular is the one and it's hard to see it's right here underneath the distributor and it curls under uh, and it goes down and then it goes right under here and um, kind of get a video you can kind of see right there a clamp on it right here okay so this hose was leaking and basically right here where this clamp was right after the clamp there's a nipple that comes out right here and right about an inch and a half out was a hole in the bottom of that hose and so I'll show you a picture of it and uh, so this was this is the hose and right there you can see there's the hole so if you imagine that this uh, I'm just demonstrating this socket here is or this ratchet rather is a um, if you imagine this is that nipple coming out of the engine and this hose is stuck on it okay and the hole is right here so this is the end of that hose and what happens is the the, the hose is just cocked like this slightly it's just the way it fits from the factory I've looked into this looked at a couple other videos and talked to a buddy of mine who's a Honda mechanic and so it's cocked very slightly and then that car also is known to have the distributor the o-ring uh, in the distributor cap uh, to leak over time usually after about a hundred thousand miles so because of that a little oil seeps out and it gets on everything under there including this and you can see that you know the shiny on it was all the oil and that breaks it down and then that combined with the fact that it's slightly cocked because it's cocked if you look like imagine that if it's it's slightly cocked like downward then that metal inside that nipple is pushing on it and in time it just splits it so all i did was i just took some cutters and uh hose cutters and i just cut off here about two inches and then i just uh you basically reuse the same hose it cost me nothing to fix it all and I'll show you just one more time. And uh, so it's this hose. I just had to slide all this used to be right here. So I just slid it over and before it used to run right here around here, but I just ran it on the other side of this and there's nothing rubbing too bad. It should be fine. And anyhow, just uh, reused the same clamp as you can see right there. Start it up and let it run for, I let it run for a good 20 minutes and drove it around and it's solid, no leaks. So that was definitely the problem. Um, and again, it could be your radiator if you're if you're having your cars overheating, which I have again replaced that twice. But um, and you can see all this oil and gunk under here. Again, that's a lot of that's from this. But I'm not gonna spend the time to fix that. I don't really care. Um, but anyhow, that is a very common problem. So if your car is shooting antifreeze everywhere and spraying it everywhere, of course in my case it was hitting the engine and transmission, so it was steaming and it was just making smoke everywhere late at night. A little bit scary, but anyway, if you find yourself in that place, I think um, probably the first thing to check is is this, and um, it's uh, like I said, very common. And it, again, five minute fix, didn't cost anything, and it's doing fine now. So anyhow, hope this uh, helps somebody. And uh, it's my '98 Civic coolant leak fix. Take care.